All right, welcome back everybody. As you can guess, we're off for food. <laughs> I'm actually off for uh, breakfast. I'm gonna try out a new place. Not new, new to open, new to me. Liberty Cafe, just outside of uh, Old Town, across the bridge near Ubilat. We'll give it a go. It's gotten some decent reviews. I'm not sure what's going on here. So yeah, off to uh, try breakfast at this place, Liberty Cafe. I believe it's Liberty Cafe. Just outside the main square, Old Town area. I'm hungry. It's a beautiful day. The sun is out. It's not too cold. Whoa, whoa. Look at all, look at all these guys. A lot of last minute lane changes there, buddy. The brother motorcycle guy. I'm not sure what this, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy does not look too stable there. Again, I do the same stupid thing. I'm riding around with these glasses on. I'm gonna put them away. No. Hello, military? I think she had a academy gear on. Oh man, I almost just lost my glasses. There we go. Anyway, oh, well, this life's taking long today. How are you guys doing today? It's a beautiful day, as I said. I'm just going to enjoy the ride. Hopefully have a good breakfast. And uh, bring you guys along for the, for the journey. There we go. Light. Why that beamer tried to press me. That was pretty weird. We'll see what happens. And my music stopped because my phone connected to Wi Fi. There we go on the camera nice bike the GS Interesting. You know, a nice way to sometimes get your blood pumping in the morning, I guess. <laughs> as long as you don't get a ticket doing it. No harm, no foul.
Oh, hello. I'm going to park right here. Liberty Cafe. You know, it's a funny thing. Two and a half years I've been living here. I didn't even know that was there. And I don't know if I've ever noticed this uh, blue outdoor seating area thing. I don't know if that's new. It looks pretty well painted. Could be new. Maybe they did it do uh, in the earlier days of the pandemic. So they can have some outdoor seating before they opened up indoor seating again. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway. It was a pleasure having you guys along for the ride. Uh, I'll see you on the way back home. Later, fellas. Welcome back, guys. Just had a really late breakfast. You know, fresh croissant and some homemade jam. And some orange juice, a cup of coffee. Nothing too crazy. Really nice. This is the place, Liberty Cafe. I'll try to post a couple of pictures I took from breakfast I don't know I don't think I've ever tried to add photos to a video but we'll give that a shot all right now we're gonna head off to my buddy's shop to see if my uh, brake lever came in because I would like to get this thing fixed we shall see and we're off into the loose pile of gravel car so a couple of people have asked me both online and even in person like what is it that I like or dislike about this bike and I can tell you now that I've owned this bike for going over a year now I mean I haven't been riding in solid for a year because of the accident and recovery but from what I've been riding I love this bike um, but what I love about it it's it's so hard to describe um, because if I say it people will be like oh well all naked bikes are the same or you know any upright bike is the same and it's 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 not I've ridden a few upright bikes, or snakes. Um, it's absolutely no sport bike. Don't, don't. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Anybody, even a 600 Super Sport, will or a 600 Sport bike will destroy me. Once we hit the mid range to upper bands, I mean, <laughs> I might as well put the bike in reverse if it had one. But in the city, low end grunt. Um, the bike is it's all there and the seating position the comfortable uh, position ergonomics of the pegs the handlebars like these pro taper bars and the way they kind of position me I mean overall the package is just it's solid for me I mean it could just be me my body type my shape my size my height my weight probably not my weight <laughs> no bike likes my weight but um I honestly, except for when I have, um, you know, there was that day where I was having some kind of weird fueling issue, um, and I was a little stressed about it, but other than that, I, uh, I smile ear to ear every time I ride this bike. In this bike... It really, it makes my soul happy. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love riding my bobber. I loved, you know, the sport bikes I had in the past. I love my Harley. But there's just some level of just joy that this bike brings out of me. Like, when I'm done riding, if I'm done riding, like, I never feel like, oh, I wish I didn't ride that much or... I should have stopped riding sooner. Like, I just, I'm just happy <laughs> every time. And this bike, to be fair, 
it also inspires me to do more. Um, like, uh, I've always been a curious rider in the sense of like, other styles of bike like i've never been just like oh i'm gonna own, I, i'm gonna have sport bikes and only sport bikes are uh when i went cruiser i i, I didn't go cruiser and like oh i'm never going to any other cruiser or or something like that or never go to any other type of bike no I, you know i've always been open to types of riding and types of bikes but since having this bike like i really it really makes me want to get my leg healthy again my knee my leg my left leg and I, I would love to try uh, dirt bikes and like motocross. I'm not like flying around, jumping off dirt mounds motocross. Um, I would have to get a lot more fit and build a Mad Max level bike to probably handle me doing stuff like that. But overall, I mean, I would love to try a lot more off-road, trial riding, trail riding, sorry, um, on a proper dirt bike at the same time. It, at my age, it's stupid, but there's something about the way this bike rides that just, it just makes me want to learn how to do different things. Like, I really, really, really want to learn how to do a rolling burnout. That's crazy. Like, there's no need for me to do a rolling burnout, but something about this bike makes me want to learn. I've never wanted to do that on my bobber. I've never wanted to do that on another sport bike. Wheelies on a sport bike, yeah, but that's not too hard. Like if a, on a proper bike, you can accidentally double clutch the bike and your front wheel is coming up on a good super sport or a good sport bike, you know? Um, or just ring out second gear and, and really hard and you're, you're gonna lift the front tire on most sport bikes. You know, unless you've got... Whoa, 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 what the f***? People are stupid. Some people are just weird. But yeah, you know, like... Ooh, that bus is going hot! <laughs> I didn't think he was going to make that turn. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like, just, like, I don't know. I know I'm too old for it, but I want to learn it. I don't think that's a useful skill in life or on a bike, but I want to do it. And I think it's something about the geometry of this bike and how I, I can feel it want to bring the back around on like certain turns. If I yank the throttle a bit, like it just wants to go. So why not learn it and let the bike do what it wants to do? I guess is what I'm thinking. Wow, these guys are big. They made it. Yeah, you know what to be fair I, I admire any good driver like anybody who's good at what they do a good driver but truck drivers man good truck drivers those dudes are amazing like I don't like the physics of what they do every day mind blows me it's just it's amazing uh, so I am always in awe when I see a guy back up a trailer between two different sets of poles at a weird angle like it's just crazy the things these guys have to do on a daily basis and then the dumb drivers that they've got to face up with like i get mad at dumb drivers and i'm either in a car or on a bike and okay maybe i'm mad at a driver because on a bike they might do something like physically hurt me or something you know but these truck drivers like they got guys that will just like cut them off forgetting that like it's a it's a house it's, they, they've got the weight of a house 
on a bunch of wheels with little brake pads and you want to just cut them off and think he's gonna stop he has to stop no he doesn't have to stop physics doesn't work like that it doesn't work on a hope but uh you know people are weird anyway we're here i will uh check in with you guys after and see if they got my uh my brake levers um, yeah, let's see if I can get a shot of the shop, it's a big shop man, they've got tons of stuff, it's, it's a pretty sick place, definitely my number one recommendation if you're looking for gear or stuff like that, um, hit up Motor or Defender, they've got both business names registered, and uh, yeah man, if they don't have it, They'll work with you, man. They'll try to find it. They'll check the distributors. They're, they're just an awesome place. Anyway, I'll check with you guys later. Peace.